Summer is the ideal time for getaways. It's important to plan now so you don't miss out on those summer deals. Travel counselor Caroline Cotton is back with us this morning. Caroline has 37 years experience as a travel expert. She has some great tips for us this morning. Caroline, thank you for joining me again. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> thank you. Good morning. Caroline, what is hot right now? Well, what is hot, as most people are now planning their summer travel, it's actually a little bit late. Some folks actually do it three months before now. Mm -hmm. um, we have some special two-for-one tours that are going on. There's a limited time at the, I believe it's May 1st is the deadline for it, but there's two-for-one, for instance, cruises of Europe mm -hmm. on this particular line, which uh, they go all over Europe, they go all over Asia, they go to Russia, and it's they're barge tours, barge cruise lines, mm -hmm. and they generally are on the high end from five to $7,000 per person, and mm -hmm. right now it's a buy one, get one free. So it is a mm -hmm. super bargain mm -hmm. if you can, you know, if you're of that level of traveler. Mm -hmm. um, going down to regular cruises, we have Norwegian Cruise Lines and Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines have both announced a kids cruise free program. That is if you book it this spring up until May 1st and that um, instead of paying the third and fourth person in the cabin, the children are allowed to go free, which is a big savings for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Right now we have um, some hotels that are booked two nights, get one night free. Those are the Ramadas and the Renaissance hotels are doing that. And we have a lot of spring savings, um, but like I said, they have a deadline where you have to book by May 1st for travel in the summer and the fall. Mm -hmm. Now, some folks have already planned their summer travel, mm -hmm. and they're already planning their winter travel. Mm -hmm. And it also has to do with where you want to go and what season it is where you're traveling. Mm -hmm. For instance, in winter here, it's summer in Australia. So that's high season. It's more expensive to go to Australia in the winter time. Right now, it's very inexpensive, especially like round trip from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's just, it depends on where you're traveling, when you're traveling, but what I suggest that people do is to book early to see if you can have an agent or someone help you, a counselor, so that they can kind of keep an eye on the prices because it's not necessarily the best to book it in advance. Mm -hmm. it's, it's best to get the prices in advance and keep your eye on it. Okay. Well, not to wait too long. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I do a lot of things at the last minute, yes. Caroline. So <laughs> if people are like me, then so I. <laughs> then there's still time for them to get these summer deals. That's right. If they're mm -hmm. if they're still planning for their summer trips, there are trips available. There's mm -hmm. discounts available. We have last minute getaways. Um, they. Uh, the problem with those is that you have to be ready to, pl to pay in full immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no messing around. If it's a last right. minute trip, you have to say, okay, I'm going to go that weekend. I'm going to pay this much money and just do it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can't just look at it because it might not be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes quick. Yes. <laughs> now, what are some what not to do to ensure a safe trip, Caroline? Some tips. Well, let's see. There's a lot not to do. Um, <laughs> I learned a lesson many years ago, of course things have changed a lot now because they have magnetic key cards, but there still are in bed and breakfast hotels and some places that have a real key for your hotel room. Mm -hmm. One big key that I learned as traveling um, single was not to carry around your key with your room number on it. Mm -hmm. It sounds so silly like everyone would know that, but you really might not and you get in an elevator. Mm -hmm. And I had seen this lady and she was in the elevator with like 10 other people and, and a lot of them were businessmen and there was her key hanging down with her key number, her room number on it. Oh. So that's just a little teeny tiny thing, thing of what not to do. Um, airline tickets. I know that everyone likes to be their own travel agent and they get online and they like to figure out what the best deal is and some of, this, some of the prices you see on the internet are, are so good, they're too good to be true, mm -hmm. which is true. But I suggest if someone goes to a general website for airline tickets, like a discounted airline site, mm -hmm. and it shows you know, Expedia, Travelocity, Orbitz, Kayak, all of those, they pretty much all have the same airfare. But don't buy your ticket there. Don't buy your ticket on the internet discount site. If it says the best fares on American Airlines, then go over to American Airlines website and buy it there. Okay. If you buy from the discounted 
uh, airline, no, excuse me, the discounted websites that are like InstaTicket, things like that, Cheap Air, mm -hmm. there is no guaranteeing that once you get to your destination and you get ready to come home, if God forbid something should happen to you or to your family or you got sick or something happened to the aircraft, they're not, they're not um, insured. Uh -huh. So you are stuck and you have to buy a whole new ticket back home, which is usually double the price of your round trip. Right. Oh, that so is that good to is, know. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. good to know. Always go directly to the website of the airlines if you can help it. Okay. So know the, like the cheap tickets, or, right? Isn't yes, that what it's called? cheap tickets, cheap uh -huh. air, mm -hmm. all of that. Okay. So avoid those. Yes. Now, Caroline, you're going to be coming back next month to do another travel segment yes, with us. Yes, that'd be great. What are you going to be focusing on next month? Well, I'd like to talk about all-inclusive tours, which there's all-inclusive, of course, cruises are all-inclusive, which you get all of your meals, but there's all-inclusive resorts and tours, mm -hmm. and there's different steps of those as well. Okay. There's ones that you can take the kids to, there's ones that you can go just a couple to, mm -hmm. there's some that the whole family can go to Great. of all ages. Great. I look forward to that. Yes, well stay tuned for Caroline joining me next month to do another travel segment. Caroline, Thank thanks you. for being on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a great day. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.